Hello everybody and welcome back and if you're new here to this channel and to these kinds of videos and these kinds of analyses Thank you so much for showing up and I really hope you enjoy what you see here today All right, everybody We know that a quiet place is coming out this weekend a quiet place directed by John Krasinski Starring Emily Blunt and John Krasinski and many people including myself are saying that this film could be this year's It comes at night or this year's get out and on Honestly, on that note, on that little thought, I thought to myself, you know what, why not do an analysis of the very game-changing film that was nominated not only for Best Director, Best Actor, and Best Picture, but was also one of the most impactful and socially applicable films of last year. Let's analyze and talk about Get Out. But before we continue, if there are any of you out there who haven't seen Get Out, and I highly recommend that you do, I suggest that you turn away from the video now because in this analysis there is going to be spoilers very very big spoilers in fact so go away go watch the film come back and then we'll get on with it for everybody else let's get started now, when it comes to Get Out, I could easily talk about the social implications that Jordan Peele put into this film, or, you know, the relationship banter between Chris and between his girlfriend and all of these other aspects of the film, but you know what? I decided there's really something that intrigues me about the Armitage family. Even though they are despicable people, they went around life in the complete wrong way. There is one thing about them that I think makes them the most relatable villains in years, and the most interesting to study and analyze in years and that little aspect is the fact that they have a trait that makes them more similar to us than maybe people would like to think and that is they're just trying to become the best versions of themselves now like i said before i'm not saying that they went about it in the right way taking black people doing surgery on them and then transplanting their own or their family member subconscious into that person and taking over the person's body yeah that's really really messed up and a really really not good thing to do but at the end of the day it still remains that the armitage family everybody in it they're just trying to be the best version of themselves no matter who they are, it's only sad that they think the best way they can be the greatest version of themselves is by doing these really messed up surgeries and evolving like a butterfly, so to speak. But with this thought in mind, I thought to myself, you know what? They're trying to be the best version of themselves, which is what I'm trying to do. But how can we take this aspect of this film? How can we take this lesson from the Armitage family and apply it into our own lives? You know, there's a big difference between Chris and the Armitage family, obviously. And obviously, these are people we don't want to aspire to be. But with the thought process of wanting to be the best version of yourself in mind, how can you do this? Well, number one, being kind to the people around you. When it comes to the Armitage family, we know what their intentions were when it comes to Chris. But in order to get to that place, they were very kind. They were very sociable. They tried to make him feel comfortable where he was. And the fact of the matter is, whenever we meet new people, if we've got people that we might consider friends or anything else or any amount of people, a boss, co-workers... The best thing for us to do is to make the people we're talking to feel comfortable, like they are where they should be. And you know what? Through that kind of idea and thought process, it might be able to give you a chance to meet somebody you never had the chance to, to meet somebody who you might consider to be a best friend now. If you apply that logic, then you can meet a lot more cool and interesting people in your life. And now, let's talk about the work aspect, because the Armitage family... Once again, I'm not going to stop reiterating this. What they did is completely screwed up and not right in the head at all. But they worked darn hard to make sure it happened. And if we want to achieve the life that we want, if we want to keep the relationships going that we want, if we want a dream job, if we want to live a dream life, then we got to work at it. We've got to make sure that we're working tooth and nail and continuously working towards that goal so that we can... Look, you might be working a job, you might be in a relationship, you might not be in exactly the same situation or a situation that you feel is enjoyable, but if you work hard at it, if you have a goal in sight, if you know what you want to do with your life, all you've got to do is work hard, strive, 
drive yourself to meet that goal head on and then make a new goal and keep repeating that process over and over again. I mean, it's hard for sure, but this is a lesson that can be taken from the Armitage family and get out. Life is work. Life is hard. But at the end of the day, if you do what you need to, to succeed and create the life that you want for yourself, then you can do it. Finally, one of the bigger aspects that I take away from Get Out, and in today's day and age, it's really hard to come by. It's be respectful to your your friends and family. Look, guys, I know we lived in a we live in a stressed out, crazy, out of this world earth right now. But it, it, it kind of scares me the amount of times I see people being disrespectful to their mothers, their parents, their friends, and not having really any regard for anybody but themselves. And if there's one thing that the Armitage family and Get Out taught me is the fact that, you know, here's the thing. While there were certain disagreements that went on with the family, you know, at the end of the day, even though what they were doing is messed up, they still loved each other. They were still trying to become the best versions of themselves, and they treated each other with respect, like we all should be. And I feel as though, if we want to become the best versions of ourselves, treating everybody with respect, even if they do us wrong, is a very, very important thing we should be focusing on. It really, really is. If we don't respect each other the way wish to be respected, in all honesty, what are we doing? Life is hard, like I've said before. The Armitage family, they do kind of e exemplify that. But they also exemplify family life, work ethic, and just becoming the best versions of yourself that you can be. Now, once again, I am not condoning their actions. I'm just saying that this little aspect, these traits are what make the Armitage family the best villains in recent memory and the most relatable ones as well. And Get Out itself is just a fantastic film with a lot to say. And guys, that's about all I have to say about Get Out. Like I said, it's a phenomenal film. And if you haven't had the chance to check it out, you really, really should. And if you've stuck around for this spoiler talk... I'm sorry I ruined the movie for you, but that was that's kind of on you. But anyway, guys, the most important thing is here, I have my thoughts here, but more importantly, it is what you say because your thoughts, they build up the conversation, they build up the community, and they get us to have differing opinions, and it creates some of the most interesting conversation, and it spices up life. So whatever your thoughts are on Get Out and what you can analyze about this film, leave them down below because I would love to hear them. I really, really would because, as I said before, it creates really great conversation. And as always, guys, thank you so much for showing up. More importantly, if you're new here, don't be afraid to press the subscribe button and tap the bell notification so you'll know when more content is up on the channel, when new analysis are up on the channel, and more importantly, where you can have more an opportunity to talk with me and I can talk with you. So thank you so much for showing up. And once again, guys, you know what I'm going to say here. If you like what you've seen and heard here and you want to see more, Click right there and subscribe and become part of the fray of nerds who love cinema. You all have a fantastic day.